Well, just checking out these A-arms here. Um, I've got to modify this thing for my airbags. So you can see where I cut all that bracketry off of this one. Because this has to be gone. Has to be out yeah, of the way. Well get that prep for the airbag. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Weather Myers Old Iron, the little shop where nightmares come true. Uh, what does they say? One step forward, three backwards. Except when it's Weather Myers, it's more like five backwards. Nah, it ain't too bad. Just hit a snag and got shut down for the for the night. You know, it's only nine o'clock, and I was planning on working on into the wee hours of the morning, maybe you know, but. I got shut down. Well, there's some other things I could do, but I decided to just take the time and kick out another video. Oh, by the way, I was going to mention that, uh, well, this is coming up. Uh, yeah, we've got uh, Good Guys Car Show coming up. I think it's 5th and 6th. Yeah, 5th and 6th of July in Des Moines, Iowa. And I'm going to go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. I've been telling you guys that I'm going to be there with a special guest at that car show. And that's true. I am going to be there with a special guest. You know, I sold old Jimmy Hoffa to a guy in Missouri. And he immediately put it to work right off the transport. Just drove it to the field. And that makes me happy. And he's done all kinds of things to that truck. You'll have to check his workout over at Balin Wires Old Iron. He's doing all the things that I would have done if I didn't have 400 other projects going. But, boy, what a, what a nice job he's doing on that truck. And um, so here's the deal. I'm going to, like I said, let the cat out of the bag. I'm going to fly to Kansas City, meet up with my old friend Jimmy Hoffa, and I'm going to drive Jimmy Hoffa to that event. That's going to be a blast. I hope I get to see a couple of you guys there. Let's get with it. You know, I'm not a mechanic, and I'm not a car builder. I'm just an old redneck having a good time banging around on this rusty old iron. So buckle up and hang on. Let's see what's going to happen next around here. We're going to shoot over and pick up old Whalen Wire over there. He does some cool stuff. Hey, welcome to Rat Rod. My name's Whalen Wire, and don't ever do what we do here on this channel. Okay, there it is with the bag sitting in it. And I don't remember how that has to sit, but I'll figure it out. Anyway, I think this needs to go. I don't need it. I'm never gonna be hitting that bump stop again. So I may as well cut that out of there like I did on this one. See where I eliminated it, ground it all down. This has got a bigger pocket here than this one does. But as long as my little bucket fits in there, that's okay. encouraging words from youtubers a lot of people have been saying well you know you have to rebuild it but you can make it better than it was before so I'm trying to do that it was missing a lug bolt and I may as well fix it I mean now's the time Well, I gotta go see if I got some brass bits. Well, I seem to have a little bit of inventory.
Well, here is my burnt up cutout, electric cutout. And uh, a while back, a friend of mine was selling some cutouts. He had two really nice new ones, and then there's a couple of used ones here, which would be fine with me. The only problem is, and they're the same brand I have, but the problem is, the new one is two and a half and mine's three. Now, does it really matter? I don't think so, because what we have is, we have, yeah, three inch going into the cutouts, you know, or coming out of the cutouts, uh, but we're only two and a half here and two and a half on the headers so it's not like it's really going to be restricting anything i don't think if i put that in there what do you guys think you can tell me in the comments but it'll probably already be done by the time you well no it probably won't be well i don't know i might i might get this cut out put in but um I'm not in a big hurry on it because I've got so many other things going on. They sent me the wrong A-arm in that kit. This upper, I can't swap that out because I had to get a different one. Uh, but to, with a project this big, there's always something to do while you're waiting on parts. Man, there's a lot to do. So, yeah, I'm just not... Um, I don't know. I can't see where it would really hurt anything to put this to it to put this two and a half inch in there and test it out make sure it's working but yeah I don't know what's uh since it's already restricted what's the difference you guys tell me
<laughs> oh boy. I think I'm gonna have to fix my equipment here, man. This is this is not good. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Back in business. All right, Victor. Back in business. Can you believe old Wayland's painting stuff? Man. I don't know why. Well, it's about 11.30 at night and I'm getting tarred. I think I'm gonna knock off for a few hours and hit it again tomorrow. You know, I know that the more I get done on this thing, the more incentive I will have to keep going. You know, when I get this front suspension all knocked out, that's a, that'll be a major hurdle, you know? And then, uh, then I can get onto the engine when I get it set in there, then I'll put the nose on. And then the major, major thing is wiring. I think I'm just going to rip all the wiring out of this thing and start from scratch. And uh, try to do it right. Hmm. All right. Trying to save old Wayland's future Wayland's eyeballs.
Here's something I always do when I'm running these airlines. This is irrigation drip tube. And it is, uh, irrigation tubing is a half inch ID. And these airlines are half inch OD. And they just slip in there just like that. So I always run my airlines through this, uh, through this irrigation line, just, uh, just to give it a little added protection. You know what I mean? You picking up what I'm laying down? You, you smell what I'm stepping in. Well, I thought I was really making some headway. And then I found out I've got the wrong control arms. If I were the man I was five years ago, I'd take a flamethrower to this plane. At least the wrong ball joints. Hopefully, I can swap those out. See how much bigger this one is than this one? Don't fit in. Uh -huh. Ah. Hmm. Well, it was supposed to be for a 75 Chevy C10. Regular old half ton, but that's not. Obviously, that's for something else. I'm going to have to do a little research and see if I can just swap out the ball joints. Surely I can, surely. Surely that would be the thing to do, huh? Uh, yeah. Yep. It's wrong one, top and bottom. That's way too big. Way too big, so. Hmm. Man, that makes me so mad I could just drink black coffee. Well, ain't this a revolting development? You know, I checked out these A-arms and matched them up before I put them in and made sure they were exactly... Well, I pointed out a little bit, little difference. This, uh, this hole down in here is a little bit different on the new ones than it is on the old ones, but my little, my little airbag bucket still fits down in there, so... I thought it was everything was okay and boy I was really making some headway I mean I'm talking making some progress 
And guess what? The ball joints are too big. Way too big. Look how big that is. Yeah. Let's see what the other one looks like. I don't know. I don't look that different. But it doesn't go in there. It does not go in there. That's a little bitty hole. Let me get my little... Yeah, no, that's just way bigger. Way bigger. Hmm. I don't know about the top one. Top one might be okay. Oh, it may be. No, it's uh, it's bigger too. So, what are these A-arms for? I don't know. I don't know, bigger rig. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can just drill these out. Because now when you get replacement ball joints, they come with bolts anyway. But I don't even know how this was. This, this was pressed in, so that's not going to go well. Ah, where do we go from here? Boy, I thought I was making great progress. I mean, huge strides. We were taking big strides. We thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. That didn't last too long. Still yet, quite a bit done. I guess ball joints is not a huge deal. So apparently, what's the deal? Three quarter tons bigger? Is that what I've got here? Is three quarter ton ball joints? I don't know. Hmm. So, some bigger rig. But I checked out the control arms. They're the same. But uh, the ball joints are sure different. Bigger. All right. Um, I've been online looking. They're available locally here. I can get them tomorrow from either Napa or, or O'Reilly. One of the two. So I guess I'll, uh, I guess I will tighten down the Pittman arm and the Eider arm. And, uh call it a day and i was already man i had my air hooked up too i was ready to put some air in this thing i was just about ready to have me a roller <laughs> so yeah that's where it goes first your money then your clothes well yes it's disappointing but you know it's only set me behind one day oh, i gotta put a cotter pin in there um, yeah, it's just going to hold me up till tomorrow, you know, I'll run in and get the ball joints. I guess ball joints is not that big a deal. Well, it's just not that simple. The upper ball joints I can change out, but the bottom ones are way bigger in these A-arms than they are in a regular half ton A-arm. So... I wound up having to buy new A-arms because I destroyed these when I modified them to fit the airbags. So I can't send them back. <sighs> yep, sometimes that's the way she goes. Considering all that I got done, you know, I got all the A-arms hung. And uh, yeah, I actually got this bag all set up and actually it's, uh, it is plumbed to the air source. So if I were to, you know, if I had this all together and hit the switch, that bag would air up right now. So I guess we've made some progress. Swapped out of the steering box. Put in all new parts on, uh, you know, the tie rod ends and, and the idler arm and the pitman arm. And I guess that's okay. Yeah, I would have liked to have kept going. You know, it's early. It's only 8.30. Oh, I was pointing, I was pointing the light at the clock <laughs> instead of the camera. So maybe it's time for me to quit anyway. <laughs> uh boy. All right, well, yeah, a little bit of progress. I've got some stuff painted up, you know, because I just got tired of, I mean, just turning black. Everything I touch just turns you black, you know, and so uh, just drop it on this, all this soot and black, drop it on the floor and tracking it in the house, and yeah, it's a mess. So, yeah, I've been spraying a little, spraying a little paint here and there, kind of... Uh, 
keep from getting so dirty while I'm working on this thing. All right, well, we're getting there slowly. One step forward and five backwards, but we're going to get there. Oh, it's a beautiful evening, isn't it? Well, this time of day when the sun is set over here, but it's still shining on the mountain over there. Yeah. And then we got the we got the sound of this waterfall, and that just causes a guy to just kind of sit down and relax a little bit, you know. I know you guys are hungry. They're begging, begging for groceries. They just ran out this morning. So I gotta run in and get them some groceries tomorrow morning and pick up some ball joints. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, fellers and fellerettes, that's probably the last video for July. We've got, uh, got quite a bit coming up. Got quite a bit going on. So, um, uh, thank you for being here. And until the next time I see you right here on Whaler Myers Old Iron, I sure do appreciate you.